to the 39th running of the Yamaha Rollo's Marine Bridge to Bridge Water Ski Classic in 2023. We want to just have a fun run, look after the boys. Obviously, Max is heading over with being our skier, so yeah, we'll just go out and have a bit of fun today. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit windy out there. We're just going to take it easy out there, take a few breaks, and then keep going up. And we want to come home with the win, hopefully. Friday's a bit nervous, but I'm okay. I'd say 37 to 38. Okay, so that means he's only missed one or two. So good luck, boys. Team Yamaha, Rollo's Marine, DMW Trailers, the whole lot. Those boys, they'll be good to go. Jordan, yeah, you've been skiing beautifully in Australia, mate. Um, what do you think of this river? Uh, it's something different, that's for sure. It's good. Good race, though. What, what are the differences? We say it's something different. What are, what are the main things you're noticing? Uh, definitely the current. That's strong. Uh, we've just done, done the one entry in the, in the one-up. So uh, just single skier, so that's all we can do this weekend. The bridge is full of loyal sponsors and characters in our sport, none more so than Chris Rollett, owner of the Cook Cafe and Bar and driver this year of Deadpool. See, this is a pretty new boat for you guys, it's a pretty new deal, so you still haven't probably got your ultimate set up into that boat yet? No, no it take, as you know, it takes a long time to get your boat set up exactly right, but um, hey, she's quick, she's really quick and, and lots of fun. But yeah, the only thing I'm looking at is the, is the wind, Bush. They, they, they're, not, they're not great fans of a blowy day, so we'll see how that works. A little bit less trim, maybe, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate, of course, this uh, race has been uh, a big part of your life for a long time. What does this race mean to you? Well, 20 years, we, this is the 20th year the Cook's actually been sponsoring the bridge, and uh, yeah, it does mean a lot to us. Um, it's, uh, it's part of the fabric of who we are. We've always called that the home of the bridge to bridge, and um, it's, it's worked out really, really well for us over the years, and, and we're synonymous with ski racing in New Zealand, and proud of that. Thank you so much for your support over the years and all the work that you do, and most importantly, good luck. Yeah, that's the one. We, we'll, we'll be ripping it today, ripping it hard. The big Everingham standing up on its cab place now, Ross. The fish Christians have absolutely got the butterflies open on that big supercharger. He's coming to 743 now, 744. The boys are getting down. Look at the straight coming on the back of this boat. Under seas come through. The stop on the sand shut. Bang goes the stop watches down. And I reckon a 754 potentially. Sad day's time trial sets the grid for Sunday's main race and it is under siege that will be first boat away, getting the clear water with a time of 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Second goes to the team of Nordic, with Raptor and Gunslinger very close in third. Let's check out our race course. Starting in Cambridge, you run through the tight section up in the Narrows before you get to Hamilton en route to Taupri, 54 k's. The return leg from Taupri back to Grantham Street in Hamilton is a flat out sprint of 28.2 kilometres. And the big Everingham boat is sitting with 10 seconds now to start, 10 seconds, and we'll count them down for the last five seconds. All right, you ready? Okay. Here you go, boys. Yep, good to go. Five, four, three, two, one, go is the call for under siege, and they've got a pusher there, he pushes up. Skiers off the deck of the boat, into the water. Looks pretty clean so far. The big supercharged uh, Chevrolet fires up and bursts into life as they bring this boat, running the ropes out. This is going to be critical to start here at Cambridge. Very strong current up here for the boys at the moment. They get the start. It is perfect. They get a little bit of slack rope. We see Ray Ball. We see... Uh, Harry looking across now, uh, Brad looking across now, and a big bunny hop there from Brad as well, and they are away. Under siege, perfect start for them, Bradley. Going on board with the uh, under siege team there, the boys out the back, Bradley Osmotherly and Ray Ball giving plenty of hand signals early in this race as the team goes underneath the Cambridge High Level Bridge. Adam Smale. Signalling to uh, Ross Christensen, the driver, give the boys a bit more of the uh, loud pedal and get uh, this under siege boat down the course. Nordic Racing, 21 foot Nordic hull with the Mercury Racing, 1075. Mercury number six stern drive on this particular craft. Driver is Mike Roger and the observer, Matthew Strong. Look like they're ready to go. Hayden Garn, gone a strong up and about. A little bit of slack right there, but another perfect start by the Kiwi team. Kiwi boys are up and away. Nordic Racing, they'll be absolutely straight to the rev limiter of that boat. Messiah, the next boat to greet the starters' orders. Kevin Murphy behind the wheel. Mike Jamison in the observer seat. Perry Jamison and Braden Jamison. Uh, the skiers here and uh, Perry and Braden, no relation. 
Absolutely not. <laughs> one from Australia, one from New Zealand. Kev Murphy, these guys have been busy, hard at work after the DNF yesterday. And a few, uh, I think, water pump issues uh, for them. It was, oh. mate. He's hit a pretty hard oh, turn. Yes, and but survive. Good Last start, of the scare, man. Perry Jamison having to hold on to that one desperately was and the tidiest to start. Oh, we've still got rope in the water. Oh, oh no, no, there's a problem. What's happened here? Oh, no. What happened, Brad? I don't even know. He just lost his hand. It's like they got I, hooked up on something. I know they've been testing all morning, but I wonder whether that was a, um, oh. a cut out again. The whole rope seemed to drop into the water. Yep. Um, Almost does, looked like it was hooked on the tree, but they weren't close enough to that tree, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I think I think that's a boat issue, but uh, I'm sure it surprises me because they did, did a lot of testing this morning. We could hear them out on the river early, early this morning. They did a lot of work last night. Disaster for Messiah, unfortunately. I'm guessing they're going to get restarted, but obviously their race is pretty well done unless yep. we have some major troubles for <laughs> the first few boats. And obviously they'd need to do a, a storming run from, from here on in. To see Daniel Rigg there, mate, on the starboard side of the boat, the driver's side, and Harrison, uh, Harry Galea on at the port or observer side of the boat now. This was and uh, Daniel's the man that skied into the boy yesterday. Yeah, I was just about to say that was my moment of the day yesterday, Dan Rigg's start, so let's see... Uh, <laughs> How these boys handle uh, Ooh, they've this been one. Hit. They've been hit and stopped. Let's hope they can get this start okay. And yeah, oh, nice. they, yeah, it's good. It's a good start for Raptor. Raptor's away, ladies and gentlemen. So we get back into the sequence now as those boys go shoulder to shoulder. The hammer goes down on that supercharged Yamaha and they fire their way down the mighty Waikato. Once again, we go back on board with the team of Under Siege. You can see the boat is now coming through uh, our tighter section of the course, this is the Narrows, underneath the Narrows Bridge. You can see it's like an absolute tunnel for this uh, big Everingham hull driven by Russ Christensen coming around this uh, Narrows corner. Adam Smale there giving the boys a hand signal. So they still want more pace out of this boat and these boys are uh, definitely on the hard charge coming through this section of the course. Here's Gunslinger now, Fletcher Warren jumps in the water. This is our first of our one-up teams. Uh, so one skier for the Gunslinger, driven by John Shand. Yeah, mate, Benny Warren in the observer seat. It's an 1800 bullet with a 750 horsepower. Started life as a Mercury 525, but it's uh, yep. been tickled up as well. We now see the second boat on course, the big Nordic machine, hull out of the USA, towing Hayden Gunn and Connor Strong, coming uh, really pacey through this narrows corner. This big boat probably a little bit down on speed compared to Under Siege leading the pack, but Hayden and Connor are definitely giving this a red hot crack. Dave Hanks, Chris Sainsbury, and Nathan Moore, another uh, one of our one-up competitors. Looks like Ned Kelly, big Nathan. He does, here he comes, beard. pops out. And a good start there. Nathan's only been skinned racing for a couple of years, so it's great to see him up the pointy end of this field. Messiah, the next boat to come out of the Narrows. These guys had their early mishap up in the Cambridge start area and really trying hard to make up some ground, losing a couple of minutes up there, and it's going to be really challenging for them to catch up, but they'll be doing everything they can. Highly suspect, the next boat to drop Max Duckworth and Michael Weatherford into the water. Stacey Mello by the wheel of Paul Skipper. As we uh, watch him, slack gets taken up and it's a nice even pull out of the hole. And as we'd expect from these two gun scares, a perfect start. Quick releases get pulled, done. Max Duckworth even had time to blow a kiss to the starters. <laughs> so uh, those guys are doing it easy there behind Highly Suspect. We're just watching Vaughan Hyde and Nick Taylor come out behind the little man. And it's a good clean start from them. Team of Raptor coming underneath the Narrows Bridge, towing Harrison Galea and Daniel Rigg. On board once again with the Under Siege team, as you see Adam Smale giving some more ups to uh, Ross Christensen, the driver of the big Under Siege rig, as they come underneath the Peacocks Road Bridge. Boys are now not too far away from coming into Hamilton 
as we go past the Hamilton Gardens on your right hand side and not far away from the halfway point in this first leg as we see the boys coming through here at over 100 mile an hour on board now with Brad the Oz Motherly skiing on this left hand side Ray Ball on the right Kruger, boat number 20 approaches the starters orders Mike Slack brings it up Grant Crowther in the observer seat Tommy Slack and Ben Vanden Engel doing the skiing duties out the back of this particular boat and a very polished team they are and they hit them pretty hard and up they pop Gunslinger driven by John Shan coming underneath the Narrows Bridge towing Fletcher Warren in our one-up category this team is the front runner in this class with the only open boat in the field and Fletcher looks fairly comfortable as he's giving big uh, wave up signals to the team. Yamaha Marine, big Gregory Fido Dutton behind the wheel. Scott Rotuki is the observer. Jordy Smith and Logan Kennedy are the skiers behind this particular boat and they are a very, very switched on operation. You'll see no problems here, I can assure you folks. And ropes go tight. Both the boys pop up nicely. Jordan just as smooth as silk. And so good start there from the Yamaha Marine, Greggy Dutton. Under siege on board once again, and the team looks like uh, they're still going at a pretty cracking place, but the orange flag is out and the boat is slowing. What's happening here? This is our pre-race favourites. And as we can see, the boys out the back are having all kinds of good tea. The rope is in the water, and they are over and out. Majorly wrong with this thing now. The boys are right. Yeah. You okay? Just the cut out on me, man. It's like not running properly. Slytherin skiers go into the water. That's Jordan Dowell and Jess Sinclair. Nice clean start there for our ladies. It's going to throw the door wide open there, Bisho. We say this every year. The bridge can throw up anything, but hey, we haven't even got half course on League One and dramas. Sixth boat through the Narrows Bridge is the team of Big Bird. Nathan Moore on the hard charge trying to chase down Gunslinger in that one-up category and some frantic wave-ups from Nathan out the back there. With Dave Hanks peddling the big Sonic. Here we go, mate. Here we go, it's the Messiah. It's, it is Messiah. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the first boat <laughs> through Hamilton <laughs> is Messiah. So, Messiah, absolutely I... breaking it down the river. You wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> you would um, not believe it, Bradley. Speechless. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's why you say never give up. Highly suspect, driven by Stacey Mallow coming through with Michael Witherford and Max Duckworth looking really strong. This is uh, one of our front runners in the mock category. In the meantime, mate, we've still got boats starting up at Cambridge and it's Pandemonium. Mike Carr and Rob Bobby Court That's and Jordan Court. Not only the name of the boat, but the name of this race so far. <laughs> Absolutely right, mate. And a nice start there for Jordan. A couple of ups. Jordan now for Chuka in Victoria, Australia. They get away with a very, very nice start there. Mike Carr and the driver of that particular boat. Little man, the little lab boat dancing its way through the narrows, towing very experienced Vaughan Hyde and Nick Taylor out the back. These boys look to be doing it pretty easy behind the smock boat and they'll be looking to claim that smock title which is a uh, very coveted trophy. Our first boat through Days Park is the team of Messiah after all the drama with Under Siege and Nordic both out of the race and these guys having an early struggle at the start line is now up to them to try and pick up the pace and get down course as quick as they can. All right, this will be quick. The two Aussie boys behind this particular boat, Harrison Galea and Daniel Rigg, come storming through behind the Raptor as uh, Kane Frost just trying to get that boat to settle a little bit. It's just hooking a touch. Daniel goes past the boy that he skied into yesterday, and Harry Galea gives a big fist. He nearly threw himself off the ski there, Harry. 
chasing down little man is the team of Kruger for that smock class title these guys are the reigning champs in that class with Ben van den Ingle and Tom Slack coming around this narrows corner and Mike Slack at the helm of this uh, cyclone hull and he's getting absolutely out of control hats off to Grant Crowther in the observer seat for hanging on to that one here comes the gunslinger, Sol remaining inboard in this I'll race. Tell you what, Brad, if these boys put turn on a big one, they'll be absolutely on it. Be interesting to see their time as they come through. Johnny Chan behind the wheel, boat sitting up beautifully, and I tell you what, they could be a real dark horse here, I reckon, Brad. Well, maybe not. Here comes Big Bird right in behind. Oh, wow. So, we. Uh, Nathan Moore, he's pulled some time out of the gunslinger. Absolutely, they started a minute apart, and they're inside of each other. We now go on board with the team of Highly Suspect, driven by Stacey Mallow. Look what we have here on the right-hand side. It is the second boat away. It is the team of Nordic. They are parked up with a mechanical issue as they come underneath the Peacock's Bridge, and this bridge to bridge is really wide open. Artemis is the next boat that we're looking for. Chris Carter, the driver. Cameron Robb and Kane Carter doing skiing duties, one up behind this particular boat. It's an F-18X force hull, running 2.5 litre mercury power. Pretty conservative for these boys. Second boat into the Days Park section of the course is the team of Raptor. And you'd have to say with these guys, they'd now be in the box seat to take out this race with Harrison Galea and Danny Rigg giving big ups. They know they're on track for a great result. Yamaha Racing driven by Greg Fido Dutton coming through with Logan Kennedy and Jordan Smith out the back. These boys again in the uh, smock class category up against the likes of Little Man and Kruger and a nice wide line there by the very experienced Greg Dutton. Gunslinger coming through the Days Park section driven by John Shand. Ben Warren in the observer seat and his son Fletcher out the back in this one up class. These guys are also now on the target for top three position overall if they keep up a good pace. Uh, unfortunately we've had a mistake oh, there from the Aquaholic team. Uh, Gene Holland's there bringing the Aquaholic boat back. Is highly suspect they're hot on their tail as well so they run through and they are on the hard charge as well Paul Skipper just laying down in the observer's seat just hanging on and Stacy getting the job done very nicely here's Messiah coming into Taupri looking I'm going to say a little bit off pace yeah, but the boys might have had a pretty tough run through uh, that top end of the course I wouldn't mind betting that they haven't been able to use the speed uh, like they uh, would have hoped to if, uh, if there was a bit of chop about, so maybe just getting the boys home. Team of Highly Suspect coming through now, driven by Stacey Mallow, who knows this river like the back of his hand. He'll take every shortcut he can to make up uh, the time for the team. Kruger, yeah, Mike Slack putting on the show as he always does. Bit of air time, bit of hang time from the Kruger machine, always pushing hard this team. Smock record, or current Ooh. smock record holders, uh, Tom Slack and Ben Van Den Ingle doing the job out the back. Cole Varley in the little lab boat, once again little man dancing on top of the water as it comes through at Days Park. Vaughan Hyde and Nick Taylor out the back doing a fantastic job and looking pretty comfortable at this point in the race. As we see Raptor coming in to Taupri. 
Hey, conditions don't look too bad there, Brad. I know we can't see up that big straight there, but just that particular spot we're watching. Great onboard shots here that really show how this Waikato River course is so demanding and challenging for our skiers, drivers and why our skiers keep coming back each year. The gunslinger coming into Taupri. Look at the conditions, Brad. Yeah. Looking, what are you thinking? Well, it's looking pretty flat on that corner. Um, yeah. That doesn't mean to say some of the other straights in the lead into Taupri haven't had a bit of chop. Um, I'm only gauging that from the fact that um, there's a bit, of, a bit of chop there just as they come across the line. Oh, and there's the highly suspect hot on their heels. So yeah. uh, that's the boat we're looking for. They were the fastest split to Hamilton. Max Duckworth and Michael Witherford, um, those boys would have gone hard through the rough if there has been any rough water. Yeah, uh, absolutely. There, the little man. There, there's the little man. Charging down into Taupri and that boat sitting absolutely beautifully. Uh, tell you what, Cole's really got a handle on this boat, I reckon. Brad, he's driving it superbly. First league result sees the team of Raptor in a 25-31 take out the Cambridge to Tout free league of the race. Highly suspect only 11 seconds behind were in second with Little Man in third in a 25-54. Fourth was Big Bird in a 26-21 followed by Yamaha Marine Racing, Artemis, Gunslinger and Messiah with the 27-07 losing a good couple of minutes with their fall just after the start in Cambridge. In ninth place it was Pandemonium in a 27-54 with Filthy Oars only two seconds back, followed by Joker and Slytherin. big Messiah machine needing to come back from a 27.07 to try and rescue this one and win it for the uh, for the open teams. The ropes have gone out for Messiah, Perry Jamison, Braden Jamison obviously had a bit of a shock in Cambridge but they are up when about with a clean start in Taupri. They've got a minute 40 odd to make up in this one Brad so they are really gonna have to stand on the gas here as they run a bit of a wide line, Brad, just coming out of Tower 3. The next boat we are looking for, there it is, Raptor. The boys are in the water already. Harrison Galea and Daniel Rigg out of Sydney, Australia. They're both their first times over here racing this race. Kane Frost driving the Raptor and both boys are up and about. So a clean start there for the Raptor team. The quick releases go ping and Raptor was the fastest boat to Tower 3. So they are the team to beat on the way home on board again with the team of Messiah on the second leg from Taupri to Hamilton and we're halfway between Taupri and Ngāruawahi and you can see the team slowing down in those rougher conditions. Next boat to approach the starters orders is the Gunslinger. My old mate Johnny Sham behind the wheel, Benny Warren in the observer seat, Fletcher Warren doing skiing duties out the back of this 750 horsepower Chevrolet. Her cruiser in an 1800 bullet. A little bit of slack right there as he comes out, but it's nice. He gives the goggles a wipe and they are away. Gunslinger gets a wave up and they're into it, Brad. Yeah, first three boats, great start there. You see uh, John Shan running a little bit tighter right line than those first couple of boats. So we see Nathan Moore get a start behind the big bird. He'll be one of the uh, front runners in that one-up class. Messiah coming underneath the bridges at Natawahia. They are on fire coming through here. They're still trying to make up ground on the front runners in this race. Down here is highly suspect Stacey Mallow, Paul Skipper, Michael Witherford and Max Duckworth. Those guys were second fastest to Taupri, so those boys will be working super hard over the rough water. I 
goes highly suspect too. Brad uh, straight off the ski pole. Once he burned off a bit of fuel, they didn't worry about quick release. Straight off the pole, so a lot of experience here. Little man, here we go. The quickest smock boat to Taupri and also leader in the F2 category, Vaughan Hyde, Nick Taylor. Here yeah. they come, a little bit of a slower start, but a comfortable one for those boys. Messiah coming back into Hamilton underneath the Phuketi footbridge. These guys are really putting together a solid run home to try and make up as much ground for their faults on the first leg. As the uh, LHT Kruger pulls his skiers up out of the water by slack behind the wheel. Clean start for them. On board with Highly Suspect as they creep up alongside the Big Bird team. They've managed to pull in their 30 second gap that they had at the start line. Boats get closer and closer, these guys running side by side action and in these rougher conditions the boys behind Highly Suspect seem to have the edge. As we turn to Yamaha Marine, straight off the pole for these boys as well, Greg Dutton, Scott Ratuki, Logan Kennedy and Jordan Smith, another clean start for them so they're pretty happy to be up and about. They are right up there in that smock category as well. Highly suspect and Big Bird racing side by side as they come underneath the nut or here, Twin Bridges. These guys are racing side by side with only a couple of metres apart. Team of Raptor coming back into Hamilton to finish the second leg. They're coming underneath the Pukity footbridge and these guys have got a great chance of taking this race out. Slither in there, Jeff Weeks, he's a local Telpri boy. So he's uh, a lot of experience uh, on this part of the river and a lot Bang. of experience out of the back uh, with Jordan Dodwell and Jess Sinclair. The girls are up and about. No shortage of wave ups behind that boat either, Brad. Kevin Murphy driving the big superclass boat there. Messiah as they enter into Swarbrick Landing. Mike Jamison in the observer's seat watching over the boys out the back. These guys are putting together a really solid run as they come back into Hamilton. The boat porpoising a little bit as it uh, tips into the turn around this uh, wide sweeper here at Days Park. Perry Jamison and Braden Jamison looking pretty comfortable, but the uh, observer signals a little bit of a hold there for the boys, a bit of a down to give them a rest around that corner because they know they've only got a couple more straights to home as they come past the crowd at Ann Street. Boat looking uh, fantastic has come through there on a bit of a wider line as they set sail for the finish at Grantham Street. So the next boat technically should have been balls out but we know that they had a problem uh, and then after them it's pandemonium which the skiers go into the water now. Mike Carr and the driver Bobby Court, Jordan Court running in the one-up category out of Australia. Jordan gets a cracking start and the boat behind them, uh, which is uh, Artemis, yeah, gets up and going as well. So Kane Carter there with a nice clean start. We don't expect anything else from that young fella, do we? Yeah, you can see they've made up a bit of time just in the start uh, box there. Kane Frost bringing through the Raptor team with the uh, Velocity Hull and the big Yamaha supercharged 450 horsepower. Vaughan Anderson signalling back to the skiers, Harrison Galea and Daniel Rigg as they come through this day's park corner. These boys look like they're really amped up with only uh, a couple of kilometres to go. Harrison Galea punching the uh, air and really wants it. He can tell that they're not far off. A great result in this race as they come round Ann Street cleanly. The nose dipping a little bit, but Kane Frost has got it round that corner at a reasonably good pace. And Harrison Galea really cheering on the whole team as they bring it home. So we see Nasty just about to start another one of our one-up teams. Uh, this is Jordan Woodmass skiing. Brady Simons in the boat with her dad, Sean Woodmass. Geordie is up and about, so we're still on the clean sheet for starts and tower for everyone dealing with uh, this end of the course. 
You've already had one go at it by the time you get here as well, haven't you? So you're sort of knowing more what to expect. And the boats are lighter, mate. Once you've uh, done 50 odd k's, they're uh, they're burn off probably at least 50 litres of fuel. And a lot of the teams. Uh, when they leave here to be able to drive to the start line, do the run from Cambridge to Towbury and then back uh, basically full to the brim when they start in uh, Hamilton here when they launch this morning. A lot, lot cleaner start there for the Aquaholic team, Amos Ratuki and Alison Hollands. Gene Hollands driving, Mitchell Horan observing. Still clean down at the Towbury end. This is Messiah. Grantham Street is Messiah. Can they get the job done here now? Kevin Murphy behind the wheel of the big superclass twin turbo machine. Matty Strong in the observer seat. Hayden Gunn and Connor Strong, the good Kiwi boys, come charging down to the finish line. Stand up, wave your hats and programs, ladies and gentlemen. Messiah has outlasted the rest as they fire through and finish first boat home in the 2023. Bridge to bridge for Rolos, Marina, Yamaha. And now Bradley Dunn, we wait for Raptor to come through. Psychotic boy. Oh, oh no. no. And you put the moz on him, mate. Zoe and Kennedy. Skier. Beatrice Ward. Absolutely spitting Filthy. chips. She's one of my skiers and she won't be happy. Third boat back to Hamilton is the team of Gunslinger, the little 1800 bullet with the V8 in the back. Fletcher Warren hanging on and nearly got this job done. Raptor and here now, comes mate. Raptor. Uh, they started 30 seconds behind by the iometer. It's um, not much more than 30 oh, seconds. Oh, it's getting blown around, Holy Brad. Trouble. The boat Holy is loose. Trouble. Frosty, hang on to it, son. Oh, oh slack no, hold the phone, no, hold the phone. Hold on here, to... Ski is unwrapped. Skier on the port side's unwrapped. He gets it back together. He's going to have to try and get his wrap back up. This is costing him dearly now, Bradley, as they've had to come right out of the pace. He's telling him to go. He doesn't even want to try and wrap up. He just wants to make it home. That Danny Galea, it's a down. It's a down now from the skiers. Drama at the end of this race. They cross the line unwrapped. Well done, Harry oh. Galea, you superstar. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I need to lie down. No way. Where's me mama? What a hug. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. That has never happened. Out of control, ladies and gentlemen. You came to see some action where well, you got it. Barley bringing in Little Man, skating across the top of the water there as they come underneath the Pukiti footbridge. These guys look like they're on target to take down the smock class. Uh, <laughs> show No Mercy Boat 54, driven by ski racing stalwart Alan Bedford. These boys won't be that happy with the wakes that are rolling through from Psychotic Boy, but you've got to deal with uh, what rolls in front of you. The boys are getting well, chucked back the water. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Are you happy with that one? <laughs> I would be too. Kyle, Kyle Pickerel pulls it out of the fire. <laughs> Absolutely. Pour lollies to chocolates straight away. <laughs> he he uh, had to work for that one, but uh, I'd say he's pretty happy he held on to it. <laughs> Could have given that away at any time, as we see Deadpool, driven by Chris Rollett, owner operator of the Cook Cafe and Bar that we're uh, going to see the boys tonight. The cook, Perfect the prize start. given. Perfect start. No. So I don't know what happened. The boys said it wasn't a quick release issue, so I don't know what went on uh, down at uh, Look, looks Cambridge. Looks a bit, cl bit cleaner on this first leg. Much cleaner, mate. Yeah, that's a good start. So let's hope those boys can have a nice run. Now we're back at Days Park, and it is the team of Gunslinger coming through this part of the course. Uh, John Shan there got the little bullet sitting up nice and high in the water, but it does come a little bit unsettled as they come through the sweeping corner. Fletcher Warren still pretty comfortable at the back as they then go up into the Ann Street corner. Bringing it round here. The boat looking great coming through here as Ben Warren in the observer seat really pumping up uh, his skier and trying to get him through this last part of the course. The legs will be starting to burn. Fletcher's pretty keen to see the finish line. 
highly suspect coming in underneath a Pukiti bridge and they've managed to open up a rope and a half length over Big Bird but still very tight racing between these two boats. Neither driver wanting to give an inch as we see Big Bird there coming through. So we've got the sleaze there, so Robbie McGowan, Gareth Jolly in the boat, uh, Libby and Lexi there up and about. A bit of a sh shake of the head from Libby, I think she uh, had a little bit of a moment in that start, but they've managed to salvage it and get away. Back with this battle, and it looks like Highly Suspect has managed to uh, make a little bit more of a gap over Big Bird. Big Bird has jumped into their wake to uh, to follow behind them. Stacey Mallow and Dave Hanks will be enjoying this battle as these two uh, veteran drivers go at it uh, up and down this bridge to bridge course. Nathan Moore will be pretty happy to see the finish line as he's only got a couple more corners till home. The two boats now go through Anne Street and Stacey Mallow puts on a real show for the crowd, gets the boat dancing on top of the water trimmed right off the dial. Michael Witherford's happy with that one and they wave to the crowd at Ann Street. Hot on their heels is Big Bird trying to keep the uh, distance as close as they can. Here we go, here comes the gunslinger. Wow, this has been a great run and Big Johnny Shank, congratulations to him. This has been a great run for him. Benny Warren and Fletcher Warren, fantastic. And these guys will be ones to watch for a podium position for us as the gunslinger brings it home in the 2023 Yamaha Rolos Marine Breach to Bridge. And Street's always a great vantage point as we see Cole Varley bring the little man dancing on top of the water there. The little lab boat, little man with Rick McDermott in the observer's seat and Vaughan Hyde and Nick Taylor out the back. Oh, I'm at Nicholson making it super tough. He's oh. coming out sideways. Oh my God. He's still hanging on. Oh, he's, no, hanging he's hanging on. Telling he's him telling him to stop. <laughs> I'd be telling him to stop too. Look at the look at the wind, mate. You see the way the wind was blowing the tops off the spray there. So that's a dead set headwind. That boat was standing up. It was never going to happen, mate. Ah, exactly. Mike Slack with Kruger doing a bit of a tank slap around this final corner at Ann Street. He's got it back together and now he's trimmed it back up to a uh, comfortable height with Tom Slack and Ben Vanden-Ingle. Here comes Highly Suspect, driven by Stacey Mallow, Paul Skipper, Michael Witherford, and Maxie Duckworth on the hard charge. Is this your race winner? We've got no idea. Right on their tail is the Big Bird. Driven by Dave Hanks. There's some hard charges here, Bradley. They're all coming home in a flurry now. All some of the best drivers and boats that New Zealand has to offer. Slytherin coming here through Ann Street and the boat is trimmed up perfection. Jeff Week doing a fantastic job behind the wheel with the girls looking good for a ladies title. It is the little man driven by Cole Varley. Rick McDermott in the observer seat, Vaughan Hyde and Nick the Sheep Taylor coming across the line. Little man, this uh, was your quickest smock and F2 boat to the other end. Are they going to do it in those glasses for the overall result? We have to wait and see. Little man. Little man brings it home, the beautiful lab boat and skiers are absolutely ecstatic with the shackers coming across the line. Chris Carter driving the little Artemis machine, peddling it for all it's worth, the little Force F18X towing Kane Carter is definitely pretty loose through this day's park section. Plenty of rooster tail, plenty of spray. So we've still got Raptor at the top of the charts as we see Kruger coming along. Mike Slack, Grant Crowther, Ben Van Den Ingle and Tomo Slack getting the job done for this Kruger team. I'll tell you what, Mike was busy, mate. That boat looked twitchy. It wanted to be all over the place. He did yeah. well to drive that through very clean. Good run here for the Slither and the F19X Force. So we're actually missing uh, Yamaha Marine. They should have we been are. in between those two boats, which is unfortunate for that team. Hopefully we see them soon. But Slytherin coming through the uh, the girls, Geordie Bradley and Jess Sinclair. Are they going to take down the ladies class? Jeff Week driving, Mike Dunstall in the boat. 
Great run there for the Slytherin for our ladies. A beautifully prepared boat, Jeffy Wheat. He'll be happy to bring that one home. And a good run there for the Slytherin. That is the Artemis. So they've jumped up a few spots. They've overhauled Pandemonium. They've overhauled Yamaha Racing. Strong run here from Chris Carter, driving the little F9, F18X force. Camera observing Kane Carter on the ski. The Artemis coming through and a nice run there. Kane Carter, he'll be happy with that run. And he is done. The long race second leg results. It was Messiah in a 13.38 with the fastest time for that return leg, followed by Raptor, Highly Suspect and Gunslinger. Nothing between these next three boats. Big Bird in fifth with a 15 minutes and 16, followed by Artemis and Little Man only two seconds down the road. In ninth place it was the team of Slytherin, followed by Pandemonium at Deadpool and Show No Mercy. With the two leg times added together, it was the team of Raptor in a time of 39 minutes and 47 seconds to be the first single rig outboard to win the bridge to bridge since 1993. Highly suspect with 30 seconds back in second spot, taking out Mock Class as well with Masaya in third, and Little Man taking out Formula 2 and Smock Class in fourth. Big Bird was fifth with Gunslinger and Artemis not too far behind, as well as Pandemonium in eighth spot. Kruger came home in ninth spot, just ahead of Slytherin by four seconds. Chris Rollett driving Deadpool came home with a great result in 11. Just ahead of Show No Mercy in 12. We got a good start today. Um, it was oh, a little bit slower than usual for some reason, but yeah, we ran down, ran a good start. Ran was run down the river, quite a good pace. I think we we're probably going to be the quickest time we'd run the town. And the big girl just stopped in a real hurry. So yeah, we were doing about 105 and it just stopped. <laughs> We had one at the moment and we'll stay, stay wrapped up and then we did it again and just didn't have any opportunity to kind of come back so I just went out in front and it is what it is and we got come across the line and you know, we've got to all be happy with that. We all came home safe so that's what the main thing is. Frosty, hang on to a tunnel. Oh Slack no, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold, 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 hold on to something. Ski is unwrapped. And I just hung on and got through it and with Haz we, we got here. Um, that was the plan and there was a few moments and a little bit of damage to a few things, but we're right. <laughs> uh, so I've got to be really happy with that. Um, the boys skied amazingly well, especially uh, from the top end. We, you know, we were hitting some uh, some really good air. Stacy was driving unbelievably well. I've got to say, and, you know, the second start was brilliant. And uh, coming up through the uh, the rough stuff, the boys hung on. Man, they hung on through some rubbish down there. And uh, due respect to them. Coming through beside another boat, they were in the snow basically, halfway up to the Horatine Bridge, it was insane. And uh, they did really, really well. We were uh, really happy, I think, as a crew. The low water um, probably didn't help, and then we, the start, like it was, it's bad enough as it is, but then it was like, so you know, you're starting right back, and you know, it's just a couple of boats back as well, and there was boat wash, and it was just, just got a bit hectic, eh? And so, yeah, it didn't go that well for us. We got up, nice clean start, and we just jumped off the beast wash and my rope ended up in the water and it got a bit of rope suck and pulled me straight in and we lost probably oh, at least three minutes, I'd say. So it was a hard day in the office after that. Look at the spray coming off the back of this boat. Underseas jump through. The top one can slam shut. Thanks for joining us for this year's event and we look forward to seeing you in 2024 for the 40th running of the Bridge to Bridge Waterski Classic.